anything. Notice I said rabbinic Jews, rabbinic Judaism. And again, not every one of them. There are some who don't know enough to be this rabid. But the rabbinic Jews who know their tomo, their filth, their satanic crap, are full of Satan and hate for Jesus. And the most perfect example, Tovia Singer. Tell me that guy does not look like an ugly, demonic troll. Okay? You see? You see why these passages are a nightmare for rabbis? This is what I'll do to Tovia Singer. If the Lord Jesus permits, I get Tovia Singer. This is what I'll do to Tovia Singer. I will decimate him and bury him like I would Mimi Nikab, Muhammad Hijab, and Ali Drama. Anyway. Welcome back again, round two. Welcome back. These trolls, these the tools of the devil, these demonic trolls, never stop. This is, again, a second impromptu session I wasn't planning on doing. But by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, this troll called me to talk about Habakkuk 112. I was going to go walk, burn some calories so I can look like Brad Pitt, lose some more weight by the grace of Jesus. But it's kind of windy. I think it's going to rain. And this guy contacted me. So I decided we'll go live. Now, viewer discretion advice. Viewer discretion advice. Two reasons why I'm giving you a viewer discretion. Number one, I don't know who these people are. They may be serious and have genuine questions, and then you'll benefit from them. Or they may be trolls, demonic trolls, wicked, filthy, demonic bastards, <clears throat> filled with the devil to attack and yell and ridicule and answer nothing. So I'm going to hang up on him. Secondly, secondly, you guys who've been following me, God bless you. The Lord Jesus preserve you and the Holy Spirit fill you. You know my style, and God has put grace in your heart to be able to, to adapt to my style. This channel is not for the politically correct. This channel is not for the sissified, effeminate Christians who think that it's never right to tear into someone, insult someone, humiliate someone who's a blasphemer or an arrogant jerk who thinks he's a know-it-all to humble them for the glory of Jesus. This is the reason why we're in the mess that we're in. America, the West, the reason why we're in the mess that we're in is because we have perverted biblical Christianity, biblical manhood, with a false view of what it is to be a Christian. A view that turns men into sissies, like the late Robert Moore used to say about evangelicals, evangelifishes, effeminate, which is why the world is eating up American churchianity alive. If that's you, go listen to someone else. You don't like it? Get the hell out of my channel. I don't want to hear you bark. I'm going to block you. Don't come here. I only want people who are open to your different perspective and learn without pontificating. And if I'm wrong, pray, Jesus Christ, purify me, change me to be more like Jesus so I don't grieve him. And that the Holy Spirit will show me my error for the glory of Jesus Christ. Okay? This channel is not for the wishy-washy effeminate those fakes who think they're pious and being Christ-like and spiritual when you're fake and arrogant, full of pride from the devil. Yeah? So don't, don't deceive me. You can deceive yourself. So I'm just letting you know, those are the two caveats. So we love you, Father. We ask you forgive us for our moral failures. Sanctify us by your spirit. Wash us in the blood of Jesus Christ and give us power to crucify the flesh and not willfully succumb to it. Please, Bobby, make us doers of your word so that we can delight your heart. We love you, Lord Jesus, increase in us. We love you, Holy Spirit. Take over this session. Fill my body, my lower back, my lungs, my chest, my heart, my throat with health from your glorious sovereign presence. Strengthen my voice. Help me to be a blessing and not a nuisance even to my neighbors. And Holy Spirit, perfect my ability to recall scriptures and interpret them correctly for the glory of Jesus. Save me from error and stammering and bless your people. Illuminate them. Silence these blasphemous dogs. Break their mouths and silence them, using us for the glory of Jesus. And if you're pleased, grant them repentance leading to life. So we need you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Father, Son of God, Lord Jesus. We love you. Holy Spirit, we love you. Bring them as you brought them in the previous session in Jesus' almighty name. Okay. This guy is getting on my nerves. So he's probably another rabbinic or rabid, satanic, filthy dog. So if I'm cruel, cruel with him, don't blame me. 
In Jesus' name, Lord Jesus, be glorified. Constrain me and silence his body. Okay, you're excited to get humiliated. So are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, fair, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. The can version I, you're can reading. I ask you my question? Can yeah. First, my question. Do no, I know what your question is. Are you going to talk over me so I can hang up on you? Are you going to listen? The version you're reading is the Jehovah Witness tra translation, New World Translation of Habakkuk 1.12. Open up Habakkuk 1.12 and read it for me. So I can laugh at you like I did in the comment section. Uh, but do you know why I'm calling? Habakkuk 1.12, yes. Know why I'm calling? Do you want me to hang up? Yes, I know why you're calling. Yeah. Go to Habakkuk 1.12. I'm sorry, there's a little delay, right? Okay. There's a little delay. From Go to Habakkuk 1.12. That's, uh, do, do you hear me when I'm talking? Or there's yes, a I'm hearing you, man. Dude, I'm hearing you. Habakkuk right. 112. Exactly, exactly. No, so really. Like, uh, no, I'm shocked. I never heard of Habakkuk. No. Okay, read it. Open and read it. You there or what happened? Hey, yeah, yeah, there's a delay, there's a delay. Uh, th that's Wait, your problem, not mine. Open Habakkuk and read it. All right, okay. So, wait, I open the... Wait. All right, okay. So yeah. I open uh, the NIV, all right? And that's not going to support you, NIV, by the way, but read it. Okay. Which which one do you want me to open? No, you open it. I know what your question is. You don't even know what Bible you're reading to know why you asked me your question. But go ahead. Lord, are you not from everlasting? My God, my only one. You will never die. So the NIV doesn't say point. that, right? The NIV says that, yeah. Okay, let's see. My Lord, my God, my only one. You, you said NIV, die. right? Yes, the New International Version and the updated version says you will never die, right? Yeah. Okay. So what Bible do you follow? Just curious. What translation? So I can know what version to use against you. I just opened this one. The NIV. So I what do you use? The Bible Gateway. And I opened that one. Yeah. So what do you use? Just curious. But I, I use this. So are you sure you one. stick with the NIV? I just want to get you on record and recording you. You sure you're, you're going to stick with the NIV? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, you positive. We're going to stick with NIV. We're not going to change translation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, okay, let's, good. Let's so we got the NIV. agreement. Good. Excellent. Now, as I answer yeah, no your problem. question, and I, as I answer your question, because I want this recorded. Now, your live stream, Ilan, you said NIV. I will go with it. I won't change any version. I'm going to stick with NIV. As I answer your question about God not dying, and I'm going to answer that. I just need to know, what is your background? Are you a Christian? Uh, the connection is terrible. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian, Ilan? The connection is really horrible. Then you're horrible. Wait. That's your problem. Go fix your connection. <laughs> That's not me. Yes. No, no, no. Now I hear you better. Okay. But to answer your question yes. concerning my religious beliefs, well... Uh, Let's say I was approached about 10 years ago by uh, by a Jew. Who ah, was, uh, here you go, the stupid rabbis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I can't wait. And uh, so... I, so let me say, I let, let me guess, hold on, Ilan. Yes. Let me see. You were stupid me, enough. You were stupid for, enough. Listen to me, Ilan. You were stupid enough to believe the rabbis because you thought they're smart. So now you think Christianity is false because I'm going to use the Tanakh to bury you and the rabbis. You ready? Tell me you were that yeah, stupid yeah, sure. that you left Christianity because of the rabbis. You left Christianity because of the rabbis? I didn't really leave Christianity. I'm more from a Jewish background. Not so do you believe Jesus is the Messiah? Do you believe Jesus is the Messiah? That Jesus is the Messiah? Of course not. Okay. Of course not. So why did you say, I just got your record, you wicked demon, that you said you didn't leave Christianity when you just said Jesus is not the Messiah? Because you told me I left Christianity. I'm originally not a Christian. To leave Christianity. So then what is your concern? What is your concern 
with Christianity. Why are you calling me asking me about Christianity? I have no idea why the algorithm of YouTube got me on your channel. I popped in on a live okay. conversation. I heard about the... So, are you, uh, you so now, about the now that you say you're not a Christian, don't worry about my New Testament because now I want you to explain to me who your God is from your Tanakh. You ready? Yeah, sure. Let's go. You ahead. sure? You read Hebrew, right? Yeah, so I'm going to catch you in a lie. You read Hebrew, right? I'm not uh, that fluent in Hebrew. I'm oh, sorry. very convenient. Now you don't know Hebrew. Beautiful. Baruch Hashem. You don't know Hebrew. Okay. Go to Isaiah. Ishayahu. Isaiah 52, 13. I stick with the NIV, you said, all right? Well, you can do what you Isaiah want, but I don't know why Why a Jew who doesn't believe in Jesus wants to go with a Christian translation. I prefer your, your Tanakh, but that's okay. Fine, you can stick with it. Isaiah 52, 13. Just the Bible Gateway is a very convenient site. but Very convenient. To, uh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, very yeah. convenient. We <laughs> <laughs> are very convenient. <laughs> all right. Do you want to, do you, do you use Shabbat site? The, yeah, Isaiah, Isaiah uh, 52, 13. Is, well, if you can't read Hebrew, right. you can't help me. So go to Isaiah 52, 13. All right, 52, 13. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Read for me. They see my servant will act wisely. He will be raised and lifted up. And uh, highly exalted. Okay. Do you know what the words raised and lifted up are? How are they used by the prophet Ishayahu? No, raised and lifted I don't up? what you mean. When it says my servant will be raised and lifted up. Those words in the Hebrew. Do you know how they're used in the prophet? By the prophet or no? No. Okay. So you don't know how to read Hebrew at all. So if I give you the Hebrew, you can't read it for me? Uh, not really. I'm okay, sorry. then forget it. All right. Well, then you're going to have to take my word for it. What do you want me to do? Those words, my servant raised, read it again. He'll be what? See, my servant will act wisely. He yeah. will be raised and lifted up and highly exalted. Okay, now pay attention to raised and lifted up. Those two words, because those two words are used yeah. elsewhere. Go to Isaiah 57 15. 57 15. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Okay, read it for me, please. This is what the high and exalted one says. Okay, slowly. He who lives forever. Wait, wait, hold on, brother. Is... Ilan, slowly. You for read this, too fast. For this is what for this is what the high and exalted one says. You know what those words are? The high and exalted one. You know what those words are? The same words in Isaiah fifty two thirteen. All right. Okay. So you see God, Hashem, because you guys are too afraid to mention his name. He is high and lofty, right? Exalted. Mm -hmm. And then the servant will be raised and exalted. Yeah. So can you explain to me, how is the servant being raised and exalted to the position of Hashem? Uh, why does he have to be raised to the position Because that's of what Isaiah 52, 13 said. I don't care what you or your mother thinks. That's what it says. Isaiah 52, 13. Read it again. No, 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 no. Don't talk about mother. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Stop I'll talk about your father, your rabbi. I don't care what you, your rabbi, your father, your mother, your grandparents say. I want you to go to the text and tell me what the text says. Did it say the That's servant will be high and lifted up? It says he will be raised and lifted up Okay. and highly exalted. Okay. okay. In the language of Isaiah, raised and lifted up yeah. always refers... To God being exalted, always. It's never used for anyone else. So I'm going to ask you nicely again. How can the servant be lifted up to the status of Hashem? I still don't understand why the use of two words in the same... The I mean, same two words same used of Hashem, right? In Isaiah 57, 15, right? This is for Hashem, but in 52... Where are those words? About... You, you're not listening, dude. I know you think you're smart. Let me try it again. Where are those words used in Isaiah for anything but Hashem's exaltation on the throne? Like in Isaiah 6 verse 1. Go to Isaiah 6 verse 1. Well, okay. Yeah, I know. They're, your rabbis didn't teach you this because they're embarrassed. That's why I'm going to embarrass your rabbis for yes. not teaching you. <laughs> Isaiah 6 verse 1. 
talk. Just, just, just give me just like 30 seconds just to talk. If you read, no, no, no. Correct. You'll get more than 30 seconds if you don't tap dance. You tap dance, then you and me, we're going to go to a Jewish wedding and we're going to say, L'chaim! And we're going to be, ha! Ooh! Welcome. No dancing. Welcome. Okay, go to Isaiah 6, no, no, verse 1. Just, so the, the example you gave of 57, chapter 57, is talking about, uh, talking about God. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Problem. Now, yeah. Isaiah 52 is talking about the servant who will be raised. Can you read Isaiah, Isaiah 6, God. verse 1? See, you're playing your game now. Go to Isaiah 6, verse 1. Read it for me. 6, verse 1. Yeah. All right. Let's see how well you're going to do. In the year that King Uziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted. On what? On a throne. Wait, did you see it again? The same words, high and exalted. And when you're high and exalted, where are you? Seated on the throne in that specific context. Okay. And now, again, I'm going to ask you. Maybe it's not clear. It takes a while to understand. Show me the words high and exalted in Isaiah that doesn't refer to the status of God, your God. So then why is the servant being <clears throat> lifted up to that status? Because those words are only used for God being exalted on the throne, which you did not answer. You keep tap dancing. Oh, well, it's yeah, that's my point. Why is the servant exalted to the status of God? You didn't answer that. You didn't let me talk for more than Go ahead. Seconds. Let's see how good you're going to do. Okay. And then I'm going to quote just the just rabbi against you. Get ready as I get the rabbi against you. I'm going to quote him now. Go ahead. Okay, just let me just let me talk for 10 15 seconds. That's what I want to say. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's, Baruch Hashem. Let's, let's, see, let's see all over Isaiah. It's talking about uh, God being raised high and exalted. Mm -hmm. And if if in one uh, single context it can refer to somebody else who is high and exalted also. I mean you can have, you can raise anybody high and exalted God, where? It doesn't say anywhere. It doesn't say anywhere in 52. Okay, so say. that's your answer. So I'm going to use now Rabbi Moshe Cohen Ibn Christman to show that you're stupid. Can I read him now? I'm not stupid. But no, ahead. no, actually you are. I'm sorry because even you keep playing games Please either doesn't. because you know, yeah, so know. you know, then you're not stupid. Then you're a liar. You know that because you're saying not stupid, right? Then you're a liar, right? Or I don't know. There's a third possibility. No, so, it's not a third part. Because when I keep correcting you, you're going back to the same point. So no, it's not you don't know. Either you're stupid or you're a liar. Which of the two? Now you're going to another source, which I don't know. You're gonna, you're gonna go oh, to so you don't source. like your rabbis. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So you are a joke. You're worse than the Muslims. Okay, now let's go back to Isaiah 6. Because now I'm going to ask you a different question. Let's go to Isaiah 6. Right, go. go read Six, verses 1 uh, to 5. 1 to 5. Yeah. Uh, 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 six. Okay. So, in the year that King Uziah died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted. Hold on one second, my, my friend Ilan. Joey, you don't like the disrespect? Your mother should be thrown in jail for giving birth to a dog like you. That offends me. But go ahead, brother. So, who did he see? My brother in humanity. Go ahead. Keep reading. Who did he see? I see. I, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled with temple, filled filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces. With two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices. The doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried. I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among the people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Now, before I get back to you, Jason Bourne, you stupid, stone-licking, demonic bastard. I keep saying, call on Skype. You don't Skype. Get this dog out of here and send him to Mecca. See, this is what I deal with, uh, Ilan. I deal with people like you that come and act tough and intelligent, but they don't know how to defend their lies. In verse 5, read it again for me. Uh, what, what does this little parenthesis have Re to Read verse 5, talking Ilan. About? I'm talking to a Muslim, your brother. You guys are closer to each other because you're both going to hell if you don't turn to Jesus. Read verse 5 for me. 
right? Uh, woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. And my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. So you agree with Isaiah? Your God can be seen on a throne? Yeah, sure, yeah. Are you okay with it? Uh, yeah, but oh. not, not in this world. Okay, you sure you're not in this world? Because I'm going to embarrass you now, because I'm going to show you that God appeared in this world as a man. God appeared in this world as a man. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you. So you sure you want to say that? So you're okay with the prophet seeing God, right? I didn't really concentrate on the verse, but let me just... Oh, read it one more time. Word. He didn't see it with your eyes. He saw it with his eyes. My eyes have seen. It's right there in front of you. Read it again. Just let me read it. But yes. Woe to me, I cried. I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among the people of unclean lips. And my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Okay. Yeah, so he saw him. Yeah. Okay, right. so you're okay with them seeing God, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. If it says it, then... Oh, good, uh, beautiful. Saw. Okay, now go to Daniel 7, verses 9 to 10. Daniel 7. Verses, uh, Daniel 7, verses 9 to 10. All right. As I looked... Thrones were set in place, and the wait before of days not too fast, Yelan. Not too fast. Yeah. I look. How many thrones was it? One. Thrones, many thrones. Okay, so more than one. Now keep reading. And the ancient of days took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow. The hair of his head was white like wool. His throne was flaming with fire, and. Its wheels were all ablaze. A river of fire was flowing, coming out from before him. Thousands upon thousands attended him. Then, no, ten thousands, ten thousand times, ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. Okay, you saw thrones and then you saw the Ancient of Days, right? Thrones, yeah, and, and the Ancient of Days. Okay. What did the ancient days look like? What was his hair like and what was he wearing? It's right there in the verses. White. White, white right? Yeah. And how many thrones did he sat on? There's no specific number. Yeah, it does say it. Read it again. Yes, it does. Read it again. It says how many thrones in he the sat on. Ancient... Yes, read it. He does tell you how many thrones he sat on. Yeah. He was sitting obviously on one throne, his throne. Yeah, but read it so you can see, because you said it didn't say it. Did it, it did say it if you pay attention. Read it again. Yeah. yeah, the Ancient of Days, of course, he was sitting on his throne, on one throne. His throne was flaming with fire. Okay, so that means there is another throne or more for someone else, right? Yeah. Okay, so my question to you is, who is this Ancient of Days that Daniel saw? The ancient of days can only be uh, Hashem. Hashem, good. Now read for me 13 and 14. Daniel 7, 13 and 14. Same chapter. In my vision at night, I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man, coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the ancient of days and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. Yeah. Okay. This son of man rides the clouds, and he went to the Ancient of Days. Where is the Ancient of Days? Well, it's not really a son of man. It says like a son of man. Okay, so... like a daughter of woman. Beside the point, where did he go? I just want to clarify first this yeah. specific point. I know. You don't clarify because I know what the Aramaic says. It's not written in Hebrew. Like because he's more than a man. But to be like a son of man, that means you appear as a man. You look human. I know the Aramaic better than you do. So where did he go? Uh, can I just ask a further question on this specific point before we go a little bit further? Because what is it's a very it? yeah, complex go issue. And I, don't Conveniently. Think, I don't think it's something we can go like this, A, B, C, D. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, go ahead. About the issue of like a son of man, so uh, I'm, st you know, it's why didn't just say uh, that it was a son of man? Why because he's like more a than a man. man. That's my point in asking you the question. If you don't tap dance, he's not a mere human. 
because no mere human rides the clouds and enters heaven to sit with God in heaven. See, if you answer, you get your, uh, you'll get your question answered. But if you do tap dance, oppa, you're not going to get anywhere. Where did the Son of Man go? Uh, all right, let's, let's go with you. I'm just gonna follow your reason. Okay, where did he go? Where did, where did he go? Yeah, he went to the clouds. Where? And uh, he came, went to the presence of this uh, ancient of days. And where's the ancient he of days? Given, on the throne. And where's that? Is it in Hawaii or is it in heaven? Well, I hope that heaven looks like Hawaii, but he was in the, yeah, heaven. Okay, so you agree now, this one who is like a son of man. Went to heaven and he sits with God on a throne in heaven and he's worshipped by all nations. Does it say that he's sitting on a throne in uh, heaven? Okay, hold on. Let me talk to my friend Timmy. Uh, Timmy, Daniel said he saw thrones, one of them for ancient days. Then later it says, Son of Man went to ancient days and was given a kingdom. Last time I checked, Timmy, if you have a kingdom, you're a king. And if you're a king, you have a throne. So you got that, Timmy? Okay, so let's come back now. Do you agree that the thrones that Daniel saw, one was for the Ancient of Days and the other throne was for one like a son of man? Don't play games with me because it says he's given a kingdom. Last time I checked, if you have a kingdom, you're a king with a throne. Yeah. Can I just please tell you something just, just to keep it? I mean, Do you want you me can, to you hang up in five start, seconds? Five, no, no, no. four, yeah, yeah, three. Okay, answer the question. Three, two, answer the question. Five, no, answer the question. You keep going yeah. into diversions. Answer the question. Do you agree that this one, like a son of man, is with Hashem in heaven, ruling on a throne, and all nations worship him? I don't agree. And so I you're saying you Daniel is a liar or you're again a liar and stupid. Which is it? Which one's a liar? Which one's stupid? You are Daniel because it says it right there. Okay. Nobody's stupid. No, you, you are stupid you because you're saying you don't agree. So either you're stupid, you don't know the Old Testament, let me teach you, or you know and you're a liar and you're ashamed to admit what your book says. Did you not read you the Son of Man is yes, going to be served by all nations? Yes or no? All right. But does it say he's sitting on a throne? When you have a kingdom, where do you sit? On a couch? You can be uh, the valet, you can be the buffoon. You can it be says he is given a kingdom and his kingdom is eternal, is never destroyed. So a king, where does he do? He sleeps on the sofa, on a couch, or is he on a throne? But, uh, he's sitting on a throne. He's sitting. Okay, uh, so the son of man is given a kingdom that's eternal. It will never end. That's what you read. So can you be honest and not be a liar like your rabbis and admit he's on a throne in heaven? Not a liar, neither the rabbis. I'm just trying to understand. This no, you're thing. not, because it, even view. my five-year-old will understand. Can you admit the reason why Daniel saw thrones is because one of them was for one like a son of man? Can you just admit this? I don't. I don't. Let me. Yeah. Okay. Then go to hell with your rabbis unless Jesus Christ grants you grace to repentance. All right. Okay, guys, there you go. You see, you see why these passages are a nightmare for rabbis. This is what I'll do to Tovia Singer. If the Lord Jesus permits, I get Tovia Singer. This is what I'll do to Tovia Singer. I will decimate him and bury him like I would Mimi Nikab, Muhammad Hijab, and Ali Drama. Anyway, you guys saw, right? They can't deal with their own scriptures. You see, they can't deal with their own scriptures. Front of your eyes, thrones, ancient of days, one like a some man comes and receives a kingdom, but doesn't mean he has a throne. Yeah, because last time I checked, kings with kingdoms, they're sitting on sofas and on couches and mattresses. Right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. He has a throne. Yeah, I know. Because someone receives a kingdom and dominion, he doesn't have a throne. He's just lying on the mattress. He's over there chilling on the sofa. Yeah, I know I got a kingdom, but, you know, doesn't mean I have to have a throne. Right? Thank you, Saul. You're right. 
He's standing. Yeah. Anyway. The most nasty and vile blasphemers who blaspheme Jesus are not Muslims, are Orthodox Jews. Orthodox Jews. If you see how the Orthodox Jews speak of Jesus and his Blessed Mother, you will actually end up loving the Muslims and drawing closer to them. Because if a true Muslim is not a demonic bastard who's completely filled with Satan, he can never insult Jesus and his mother. Never. Never. Rabbinic Judaism is filth from the pit of hell and makes the Quran look <clears throat> pure in comparison. In fact, what is Islam if not Rabbinic Judaism mixed in with Arab paganism with Muhammad added to the mix? But Rabbinic Judaism is from the pit of hell. If you actually read what their sources teach, you'll be disgusted. But because of political correctness and the fear of being labeled anti-Semitic, people shut up. They're scared to say anything. Notice I said rabbinic Jews, rabbinic Judaism. And again, not every one of them. There are some who don't know enough to be this rabid. But the rabbinic Jews who know their tomo, their filth, their satanic crap, are full of Satan and hate for Jesus. And the most perfect example, Tovia Singer. Tell me that guy does not look like an ugly, demonic troll. Right? So anyway, so if you want a Christian and a channel that's not politically correct, I'll give it to you. But then they're going to say, Sam is harsh, Sam is mean, he's always insulting people, I don't see Jesus in him. Yeah, because you sissies, for all these years, had, have left these blasphemers, these heathens, these tools of the devil, to mock Jesus, blaspheme Jesus, and you created a bunch of sissies that think turning other cheek means, it's okay, brother, you can insult Jesus, and I'll just love you, and I'll pray for you. See, that's being pious. Sam, I don't see Jesus in you, right? Anyway.